Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and this is a example of how easy or difficult it is to find passwords uh, using hardware that will work hard to try to um, find anything that is a password that gets into an account. We say it, the more complex and long the password, the better it is, even if you don't have two-factor authentication. And here is a time that it takes the hackers to brute force a password in 2024. And this has been done with a machine that has 12 RTX 4090 GPUs that run in parallel to make the computing power a lot more powerful. So this tells you everything. If you have less than 10 characters for any password you use, um, you know what? Depending on how you do it, it might take uh, as little as one hour. Look at this. If it's numbers only, one hour if you have 10 numbers mixed uh, to do a password. It tells you that just using numbers is no good. Just using the word case letters makes it more difficult, but look at that. Look at, look at the number of times that it takes to do this. So anything small, like four characters, like a pin, instantly, instantly, three seconds, six seconds, nine seconds. So this is what we call brute force. It's trying passwords over and over again all the time to attack a system, get into it. And, of course, the more complex I have passwords that are in this category here, which is numbers, upper and lower case, letters, symbols. And I have always more than about 15 characters on every password I use. So look at how difficult it is to try to find something like that. This is really, really making it very difficult. But that said, every year, it gets easier and easier even for the ones that are more complex because they're saying that AI will play a big factor in actually making this even more difficult. That's why we're slowly moving forward into having accounts that log in using other means like your fingerprint, like Face ID. Um, the reason for that is simple, is because there's no password. It's something that now, to really get into it, you need to have, um, you know, your face or you need to have, and not just a picture of your face, uh, the way that today's uh, Face ID works. It requires features. It requires a real person to be there. And, uh, of course, the fingerprints and all of that uh, makes it more difficult. And uh, you don't have to enter passwords or anything. It's really local to your device that unlocks a system. Uh, pretty amazing when you look at that and uh, think about the most commonly used passwords that people use. Um, I have, I think, said in the past, you know, people don't believe that this is the case, but I had one uh, client that would refuse to change his password of his Hotmail account, which was um, 11111111. So it was eight characters but numbers only and the same number so today it would take 37 seconds for a brute force to just get into the account just incredible when you look at this so make it complex guys note it down in a little book if you have to or use a password manager um, i think we might be having a series of videos on password managers how they work and how they can make your life easier if uh you have accounts, don't use the same password everywhere. It's very important not to do so. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.